What is the number that is halfway between the two numbers you can see on the screen? Well, well done if you got 25. I mean, I'm sure most people watching this did get 25. But if we had to change the numbers, some people might start to struggle. So we need to come up with a nice formula that can help us find the answer straight away. Many people are asked this question too. They decide to, they tell me, well, maybe we can minus the two numbers together, or minus the two numbers from each other, and then divide by two. So 30 minus 20 is 10. And then if we divide that by two, we get five. And then they say, oh yes, well then we can just add that to the 20. That isn't wrong, but it's quite a long method. Let's go straight to the answer by adding the two numbers together with, and then divide that by two. Well, 20 plus 30 is 50. Divide that by two and you get 25. So that is how you work out the midpoint of two numbers. You add them together and you divide by two. So, if I had to give you a set of coordinates like this, and I asked you what is the, the coordinates exactly halfway between, well, what you would do is you would do the x values by themselves. So you would add those together, which is 8, and then you would divide that by 2, and that would give you 4. And then you would do the y values by themselves, and that would be 4 plus 10, which is 14, and 14 divided by 2 is 7. And so this would be the midpoint of between those two points. So the midpoint is the halfway point between two points. So mathematically, the way we can work it out is as follows. And so here we have the midpoint formula, which says that you have to take the x values, add them together, and divide by 2 and then take the y values, add them together, and divide by 2. And so let's work out the midpoint between, for each of these. So for number 1, we're going to look at the midpoint between a and b, and so we're going to use the midpoint formula. And so we can, and so the, the mathematical way to do it is to say capital M, whereas if it was gradient, you would use a small m. So we're going to say capital M of a, b, I'm going to call this point 1, and I'm going to call this point 2, equals, the formula says that we should take the x value of point number 1, well that's going to be equal to 2, plus the x value of point number 2, which is the 6, and we're going to divide that by, by 2. Then we're going to do the y values, so we take the y value of point number 1, which is 8, and we plus the y value of point number 2, which is 20, and we divide by 2. Then we do each part separately, so 2 plus 6 is 8, 8 divided by 2 is 4. And 8 plus 20 is 28, and 28 divided by 2 is 14. And so the midpoint of those two points, uh, the midpoint of AB will be 4 and 14. Moving on to the midpoint of CD, where I'll call C point number 1 and D point number 2, and then I'll just use the formula. So the x value of 1 is 3, and the x value of 2 is 7. I'm then going to do the y values. So the y value of 1 is minus 2, and the y value of 2 is 6 over 2. So then 3 plus 7 is 10, 10 divided by 2 is 5. Minus 2 plus 6 is 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and there's the answer for that. And finally, moving on to the midpoint of EF, so we'll go capital M, EF. I'm going to call E's point number 1 and F point number 2, so the formula says that I must take the x value of point number 1, that's going to be 10, plus the x value of point number 2, which is 18, and I'm going to divide that by 2. Then I'm going to take the y value of point number 1, which is 2, and the y plus the y value of point number 2, which is 4, and divide that by 2. So 10 plus 18 is 28. 28 divided by 2 is 14. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And so the midpoint of EF is 14 and 